Hello, my name's Chris Nichols, and I'm going to show you some of the work I've been doing as part of Google Summer of Code 2008. Uh, what I've been working on is a way of tracking LEDs in 3D using two Wii remotes side by side. Uh, the first application of this that I'm going to show you is head tracking, uh, tracking a user's head so as they move left and right and up and down the this image on screen gets updated um, so that it looks like a realistic 3D view. So here we have a 3D scene currently without head tracking and as we move about nothing changes, it's very static, it looks flat and dull but when we introduce head tracking you can see that as we move about the scene changes giving the impression of 3D. The next thing I'm going to show you is object manipulation. So, imagine if you wanted to look at a mug you could just pick it up and, and look at it, rotate it around and, and just move it how you like. But you can't really do that with something on the computer. You've got to use the mouse to rotate and zoom and it can, can be a bit fiddly. Um, so what I've got here is, well, it's a tube with two LEDs at the end. And I can pick this up and move it about. And I can use the Wii's, the Wii remotes to track this and uh, adjust the surface on screen. So if we have here, you can see we've got the uh, the object on screen being manipulated. As I rotate the LED pen, and we can see it from all sides and faces in a a really quite intuitive way. Lastly, I'm going to show you how you can use the Striper with your own programs. Um, there are two main ways of doing this. Uh, the driver itself is written entirely in Python, so you can write your own program in Python which will plug directly into it. Or you can use a socket interface, uh, which means this driver can be used with any language that supports sockets. Uh, I'm going to show you a small example using the first method. Uh, we have on the right here, it's a, a 10 line Python program and here we have a little user interface so what I'm going to do is load up the program and it will start running so here we have our 10 line program and as you can see, it's got it upside down but um, it is tracking the the infrared pen tracking its orientation in a 3D space. So with a little more work, I'm fairly sure someone could come up with some pretty cool lightsaber games.